coaching thought for the day. So we need to remember that when we are coaching teachers, everyone progresses at different rates. We tell students or we tell teachers this about students. Not every student learns in the same way at the same time. And so we need to be flexible with that. When we're, when we are working with teachers, it's the same. Um, I find myself sometimes when I am going through a coaching cycle, specifically with new teachers um, or newer teachers, sometimes the goals that they pick for themselves are not necessarily the goals that I would pick for them or the questions that they are asking are not necessarily what I think are the important questions to be asking. So yes, there is a time and a place in coaching work to help develop them to get to that higher level. However, there are two things we have to remember. One is that maybe they're not ready for it yet. That is absolutely a possibility. I think back to my first year's teaching. I did not know the things that I didn't know. So when I see former students and you know talk to them about early my early teaching years, um, they they're always very kind and you know gracious and that sort of thing. But I know I was not a fantastic teacher and I was not always asking the right questions or doing the right things. So one is that they might not be ready for that. Number two is you might not be right as a coach. So your hunch of what should be worked on or that sort of thing, that might not be the right direction for them. So all that to say, make sure that when we're coaching teachers, that we understand that they progress at different levels at different times. It is our job to support them whatever level they're on or however they are progressing. As long as they are not like burning things into the ground, you know, and harming students and that sort of thing, then we support them on their goals. That's the ideal of what we should be doing as coaches.